Hey, it's Rusty. Thanks for tuning in to Burning Cereal. Today, what I have for you is so easy. Even Mike can make it. It's no spicy tuna in a can, but it's pretty damn close. We're talking barbecue ribs in a slow cooker. Let's go over the ingredients and let's get started. Okay, so going over the ingredients, we have what I always use as my barbecue rub. It contains brown sugar, paprika, garlic, onion, cayenne pepper, black pepper, and salt. What we're gonna do is we're gonna combine those ingredients, put it on the pork, and then we're gonna put the pork in the crock pot and we're gonna pretty much fill that crock pot with Coke. The reason we're using Coke is there's phosphoric acid in here and that's gonna tenderize the meat and it's gonna make it taste so good. So let's get all this going and get that crock pot fired up. All right, so for our barbecue rub, brown sugar, paprika, salt, pepper, cayenne, onion, and garlic. What do you think of our nifty little measuring containers? Uh, we were running low on the other ones, so we found these at Bed Bath & Beyond. They were like six bucks for 20 of them. Anyway, mix this up. Get it nice and mixed in together. You're gonna have to be careful with that brown sugar because it's gonna wanna tend to clump. But you just wanna mix this around and make sure that you've got all the lumps out and everything is mixed in together. Now in the 45 minutes it's gonna take me to do this because I'm so anal and OCD about this stuff, I'll come back once it's all nice and mixed in. All right, so the rub mixture is all mixed up. What you're gonna to wanna to do now is you're gonna to wanna to coat the ribs in this rub. Just rub it in nice and gentle like. Make sure you get all of it covered. Massage it in very gently. Once it's nice and covered inside the crock pot, do the next one. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is two things. If you haven't gotten any pork back inside your rub, you can store that in a jar, keep it in a cool dark place for about a month it'll stay. Uh, if you're doing boatloads of barbecue, that's a great thing. Um, if you don't do barbecue all that often, that's probably gonna to go to waste. I made a double batch because I do save it, but if you want any ingredients, you can cut all that stuff in half. I used about three pounds of pork, but you can cut all that in half and have more than enough to cover this, uh, the ribs up. So give me a couple of seconds, we'll come back, I'll show you what the next step is, and we'll get rolling. All right, so the ribs are all rubbed, placed inside the crock pot. Last two steps, Coke. You'll notice these bottles are a little bit bigger than the other one. You're gonna wind up using about two liters of Coke, and you can use something else. Um, I've heard it done with Dr. Pepper, uh, I've heard it done with root beer. Um, I just prefer Coke. Um, you can use Pepsi if you're crazy, but I think Coke tastes the best. Try not to pour it directly on top of the ribs because then you're just gonna take all of the seasonings off. So that was about one and a quarter liters. Just wanna cover the ribs 
and give them a little bit, uh, a little bit of room to soak. It's about good right there. And the last step, you can see how happy they are for having Coke on them. Last step is just take some extra brown sugar and drop it in. You don't have to do this step. Um, it tends to make them a little bit sweeter if you like it like that. If you don't, you don't have to add this brown sugar. Now from here, what you're going to do, take this over, put it in the base if it's not already in the base. Cook it on low for six hours. Again, all crock pot rules. Don't open the lid for at least the first hour, hour and a half. After that, you can take a peek inside if you need to see what it looks like, but just let it go for six hours. Once it's done, after that six hours, we're just gonna stick it in the broiler for just about five minutes with some barbecue sauce on it, and it's gonna be absolutely tasty. So let's get this rolling for six hours. I'll come back and show you the last bit. All right, so the crock pot has been going for six hours. The ribs are all done. Now all we have to do is base them in a little barbecue sauce, throw them in the broiler for about 10 minutes, and they're gonna be good to go. So let's pull them out of the crock pot without destroying them. Nice and juicy. And you're going to want to baste both sides. So get yourself a little bit of barbecue sauce and slather it on as much or as little as you'd like. We got here a little bit of Hunt's barbecue sauce. You saw earlier that Lisa showed you how to make your own barbecue sauce, but Lisa's not here and Mike and I are too lazy. So we went to the store today and just picked up some Hunt's barbecue sauce. As you can see, cooked all the way through. I would be too if I spent six hours in a crock pot. Let me finish up that last one. We'll get these in the broiler. We'll pull them out and show you what we've got. Okay, so as you can see, they're out of the oven. They smell amazing. Hard to believe that a little bit of rub, a slow cooker, and a couple of liters of Coke is gonna produce something this, that looks and smells this good. So let's dive in, give it a try. Oh man, look at the way it just comes right off the bone. The bone is gonna come right out. That is truly amazing. So instead of playing with my food, let's eat it. Wow, that is good. It's finger looking good, but it ain't chicken. I appreciate you sticking around, watching us do this recipe. The flavor on these is just amazing. I hope you give it a try. Let us know. Watch some of our other videos. Let us know about those too. We've got about 50 of them out there now. Again, thanks for watching. Subscribe, Burning Cereal on YouTube. Go to our website, www.burningcereal.com. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. So the ingredients, extremely imp impotent. <laughs> we got a limp list of ingredients. We got some limp pork. If your pork's limp, <laughs> put a rub on it. Yeah. Put a little rub on your pork and it won't be impotent for very long. <laughs> All these ribs, nobody would eat them. Except me. <laughs>